You know, when you're this close to a relic of the railroad, you gotta make a trip to go out and see it. I did just that, as I took a road trip early in the morning from Amarillo, Texas to Delhi, Colorado to lay eyes on the last remaining wigwag crossing signal that's still active on a Class 1 mainline. This thing is located literally in the middle of nowhere. By that, I mean you can hear a bird flap in the air, it's so quiet. Originally installed by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway in the 1940s, this crossing still stands strong in 2020. Many freight trains would run past this very crossing along the Raton subdivision back in the day. Unfortunately, train traffic today has since declined, and now sees only two Amtrak trains daily. I timed it just right within about 15 minutes after arriving. Here came Amtrak Southwest Chief Train 3 after departing Lahana, Colorado on time, continuing on its journey west to Los Angeles, California. I still to this day find it hard to believe that I actually put my cameras and eyes on this piece of history. I never would have thought I had the chance to see it up close and personal. It's sad to report that as of March 9th, 2021, this wigwag was retired and removed from service with new crossing signals and flashing lights installed to support PTC that's now spread across the Raton subdivision. The wigwag has been refurbished and donated by the BNSF to the Colorado Railroad Museum, now a part of history never to be repeated again. With that news out of the way, now I'm in chase mode as I attempt to catch up to Amtrak speeding through the Colorado mountainous background. then paced along with them as they travel close to 80 miles an hour through the village of Model, Colorado.
I get ahead to a grade crossing outside of Trinidad, where they would perform their next station stop. They're still moving at track speed. As they made their stop at Trinidad, I didn't know how long they would take for them to climb over the 3% grade of the Southwest Chief route, so I moved to the south side of Raton Pass. This was another bucket list place for me, after seeing countless pictures and videos of this specific location from others. We're making some progress here, but the adventure isn't over. We got a wigwag in action, we got Raton Pass, now we have active semaphore signals still alive across BNSF's Raton and Glorietta subdivisions. Even here is time running out for these relics, as BNSF slowly replaces these signals with more modern tricolor signals. West Siding Switch Colmore would be a proper example with new replacement signals ready to be switched over. Something had slowed down Amtrak as they approached my location. I think it was a signal issue. Amtrak was back up to speed as soon as they passed me. As I tried to stay with them, I passed more semaphore signals that were ready to be switched over to the new tricolor signals in between Colmore and Wagon Mound. My next and last stop for this chase of Amtrak Train 3 would be East Siding Switch Chappelle while they made another station stop at Las Vegas, New Mexico. This location was still standing strong, and most importantly, untouched in 2020. As Amtrak departed Las Vegas, the semaphore blades lined up for westbound movement. Then came Amtrak 3 10 minutes later breaking the silence, knocking down ESS Chappelle.
I waited after they passed as the semaphores reset to its default setting while Amtrak cleared the block. What a chase to remember, but I still had one more train on the way. Amtrak Train 4, the eastbound Southwest Chief, was meeting Train 3 east of Santa Fe, New Mexico. I stuck around for about an hour and a half waiting at the semaphore intermediate signals at Bernal, New Mexico. As soon as they got in the block, it didn't take them long to get to my location as they blow for the County Road B-26A crossing heading east bound for Chicago. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. See y'all next time from Bernal, New Mexico at milepost 791.1 along BNSF's Glorietta subdivision.